This is the screencast for learning target 31, solving quadratic equations by taking square roots. The idea here is that you have either x squared or a quantity squared equal to some number a that is positive. And if that's the case, you can take square root of each side and either x equals is positive square root of a or negative square root of a. Or we can simply use this lovely symbol to mean plus or minus the square root of a. So that's the basic idea that we are working with. Let's get to some examples. At its simplest level, we might be starting with something like x squared equals 45. We already have the x squared by itself. Take square root of each side. I would have x. I would take square root of 45 in my calculator and discover that it is a decimal value. So instead of using a straight equal sign, we use the approximately equals to sign, which is the squiggly equals sign that I've just drawn on the screen. We put our plus or minus because we are counting for all possibilities. And we have 6.71 if we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. My next example has me taking 4x squared plus 17 equal to 101. I don't have my x squared by itself this time. I would be starting by taking the 17 and subtracting it from each side, which gives me 4x squared is equal to, let's see here, 84. We would then divide each side by 4. That would give me x squared is equal to 21. And now, like the previous problem, I have the x squared by itself. I can take square root of each side and find that x, not x squared, x is approximately equal to plus or minus 4.58. If we continue along, I might see something like this, 2x squared minus 23 is equal to 49. One again, get the x squared by itself. We're going to start by adding 23 to each side. That would give me 2x squared is equal to 72. Divide each side by 2. x squared then is equal to 36. Once again, the x squared is by itself. Take square root of each side. This one comes out nice and even, so we have an equal sign. And x is equal to plus or minus 6. Now, there is a second situation where you can use this, and that would be where you would have a quantity squared, such as x plus 2 quantity squared equal to 49. We can use this because it's just the quantity squared by itself. And again, we can take square root of each side, which gets the quantity squared down to just that quantity, x plus 2 in this case. That's going to equal plus or minus the square root of 7. Now, I'm not done. I don't have the x by itself. So I need to subtract 2 from each side to make that happen. We put that minus 2 in front of the plus or minus 7 so that we remember that we actually need to take negative 2 and add 7 to get one answer, which is 5. Or we're going to take that negative 2 and subtract 7, and that gives me a second answer of x equals negative 9. So that gives me a simplified answer. The final example we're going to do does not have that quantity squared by itself, but it does have a quantity squared. So since 3 is times that quantity squared, we're going to divide each side by 3. That gives me x minus 5 quantity squared is equal to 5. We are going to take square root of each side. Now, when I write the square root this time, I'm going to actually leave the square root of 5 until the very end because I know when I take square root of 5, I'm going to get a decimal. Still add my 5 to each side. So I have x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 5. Now, in my calculator, I'm going to type in 5 plus square root of 5, and it's going to tell me the decimal answer is approximately 7.23. I'm also going to type in my calculator 5 minus the square root of 5, and that decimal answer will be 2.76 approximately. This concludes going over how to solve a quadratic equation by taking square root. Thanks.